Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will take you through the place value for four digit numbers worksheet and we'll go through some of the tricky bits. In question one, we have to write the numbers in the correct place on the table. And there are four statements there about numbers and we have four numbers uh, below the table. And here I have written out the numbers there, the ones that you can see below the table in the question. Uh, I've also written out a place value grid, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands, so that I can use that to helpfully work out what the number might be. So we've tried the numbers in the correct place on the table, and we're going to go to the first statement there. The number has two thousands, four hundreds, eight tens and three ones. So I'm going to write the number out on my place value table, uh, thinking about the value of each digit uh, that I need to put in on the table. So it says the number has two thousands, so two in the thousands column, four hundreds, four in the hundreds column, eight tens, eight in the tens column, and three ones. So I have two thousand four hundred and eighty three, two thousands, four hundreds, eight tens, three ones. If I look at the numbers across the bottom here, uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to see this number is there. And it is there, two thousand four hundred, eight tens, three ones, two thousand four hundred and eighty three. So that would be my first number. Second statement, the number has nine thousands, so nine in the thousands column, three hundreds, three in the hundreds column, one, ten, and seven ones. So nine thousand three hundred and seventeen. Nine thousands, three hundreds, one ten, seven ones. If I look at the numbers at the bottom, I have that there, nine thousand three hundred and seventeen, nine thousand three hundred and seventeen. The third statement then is the number has eight thousands. So eight in the thousands column, seven tens. I'm going to make sure I put that in the correct column there, and two ones. Now it doesn't mention hundreds. It mentions eight thousand, seven tens, and two ones, but it doesn't mention hundreds. So I have to put a zero to show that there are no hundreds. So I've got eight thousand, seven tens, two ones, eight thousand and seventy-two. And if I look at my numbers at the bottom there, I have that number eight thousand and seventy-two. The final statement is the number has six thousand three hundred and five ones. Okay, it doesn't mention tens in this number, so I have to put a zero there to show that there are none. So that's six thousand three hundred and five ones. So I have six thousand three hundred and five, and my last number is six thousand three hundred and five. Question two is true or false. We have an A and a B. For A. We have the part whole model there, which is 6,403. And we have a statement which is the missing number is three. What I've drawn is a place value grid. And what I'm going to try and do is just build the number up from the information that we're given. In the part whole model, we have 6,000 on the left hand side. So I'm going to put a six in the thousands column. We have 400 on the right hand side of that model. So I'm going to put four in the hundreds. We have a zero and a question mark for the missing number. And it says above the part of the model, the missing number is three. So the missing number is three ones. So I'm gonna put that three in the ones column. And that must mean that the zero in the part of the model is referring to the tens, we have no tens. So we have 6,403. The missing number was three. Uh, and we've made the number there that is in the center, 6,403. So A is true. For B, we have a statement that says the missing number is 100. We have a part whole model. The number we're aiming for is 8,035. Again, just like we did for A, we're going to build up the number from the information we're given. So on the left of the part whole model, it says 8,000. So I'm going to put 8 in the thousands column. We have 30. So we have three tens. We have five ones. And we have a missing number. Now it says the num missing number is 100, which would make it 100. And that would make our number 8,135. The number we're actually going for though is 8,035. That must mean that the missing number should have been zero to make 8,035, which means that B is false. Question three says, Theo is creating the number 4,307. And Theo has created what he thinks is the number 4,307 uh, using some place value counters. Theo says if I add two more hundreds, my new number will be 6,307. Explain Theo's mistake. So we know that Theo must have made 
uh, at least one mistake, if not a couple of mistakes. If we go back to the very start, then it says Theo is creating the number 4,307. Let's just see if Theo has actually created that number using the place value counters correctly. So Theo has put four in the thousands, four thousands. He hasn't put any hundreds in. He has three tens and seven ones. So the number Theo has created is 4,037. Now the statement said Theo has created the number 4,307. So that's Theo's first mistake. He's not actually built the number that he wanted correctly using the place value counters. So let's just check what Theo then says. If he had created the number correctly, and he had created 4,307, Theo said if I add two more hundreds, my new number will be 6,307. If he adds two more hundreds, if he had put three in the hundreds column, that would have made five hundreds. So the number would have been 4,507, which would not be 6,307, which is what he thought it would be. If we look at his original number though, to make 6,307, he only had to add two more thousands. So it would have been 6,307. So his second mistake was he added to the hundreds column two more hundreds. He needed to have added two more thousands. That was the video for the answers for the place value for four digit numbers worksheet from Classroom Secrets. If you want to see a video tutorial for skills that link to this resource, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or for more resources linked to this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.